we are at the Flory Institute, which is in the Kenneth Meyer building on the University of Melbourne campus. We do neuroscience studies, so anything to do with the brain, such as mental illness like schizophrenia and depression to ageing diseases such as Alzheimer's and dementia, all the way through to alcoholism, drug addiction, Parkinson's, MS, you name anything with the brain affliction, that's what we do. In our holding rooms, we have 8,000 mouse cages and approximately 1,000 rat cages. These are used to protect the animal, provided a safe and comfortable environment. The worst job in the world for the animal technician is scraping those boxes. Your exposure to the allergens and to what comes out of the animal is extremely high and extremely dangerous. So the old school method would be to collect a stack of boxes, bring them to your bin, then to manually scrape. The purpose of the mask is to help, as you can see, the dirt and the dust, even fine particles that you may not be able to see in the air. Also, the actual smell of it is not a pleasant smell, so it helps prevent you from inhaling that. You then close the bin, and then to remove it, you take it out of the facility. I was very excited about the robotic arm coming along knowing from a having to do it by hand myself how gross the job can be. We have a name for the robot. Um, robot's name is Colin after Colin Masters. We have the boxes put on trolleys. We call them skateboards and they're stacked 26 boxes per skateboard which is 13 boxes high and they get fed into the robot. First it reads to see what box, because you can process mouse boxes as well as rat boxes through to the robot. Um, he'll check it and say what it is, and then he knows what, he registers what it is. Then he'll grab the box and take it to the dump station, tip it, bring it back and then place it on a presentation trolley. And then when the presentation trolley is full, it then rotates and then you take it out the door and place into the washer. The waste then goes through a system, so it's a dump station and it goes all the way down to the bottom of the building. Helen's done a great job getting it working well. She spent a lot of time with the, with the Technoplast support people and uh, I think they've teamed up really well. The robot is the only one in Australia. You know, we're the first to have one of those. We've got the best caging system, automation washers, automation fillers. Technic Plus have been fantastic with the installation of the robot. Uh, it's great to be able to know that I can contact them and they're very much straight away on top of any little small issues I may have and they're very responsive. Their response times and service calls are very prompt and very professionally run. Unfortunately, we probably didn't design our facility to allow for more of them. But um, <laughs> you know, having the one and having the first one is um, very exciting.